Hi guys, welcome to The Drop. My name is Hassan Hussain Qureshi. And I'm Ukas Abhi Burana. And we're going to be talking about the recently concluded Qaeda Azam Trophy, Pakistan's domestic competition uh, for cricket and uh, the way it was done. So, Vakas, talking about this uh, new format that was picked this time by the PCB for the Qaeda Azam Trophy, what are your first thoughts as someone who watches the game? You know, I, I really liked the, the changes because um, I felt they were paying more attention to the to the game. Uh, they had changed uh, the pitches a bit, they changed the ball. Um, and of course, it went to regional and, um, you know, I thought there was more focus on uh, cricket this time around. And we were able to watch it on digital, on, on, on TV as well. So these are some positive changes that I really liked. And, um, you know, your uh, uh, test players were playing in the competition. So that adds to uh, the quality of it, of course. And um, so, yeah, I think it was a positive change overall and uh, I would like to see it getting better in the future. So one of the big things that had always been there in Pakistan cricket, something that even the Prime Minister himself had opposed, was the involvement of departments. Now people felt that it should be, nobody relates to a department team. Do you think that fans this time around related to the fact that it was provinces, it was teams from places where they belong to, and seeing the players from those areas playing for this, their teams, did you think that made a difference? I don't think it's going to be that easy. I mean, just by you naming a team, um, 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 Central Punjab, yeah, or Central South Punjab, Punjab. Or Punjab. I don't think you'll be able to attract the crowd that easily. You need to make more effort. I mean, for starters, you need to have better grounds, better facilities in the ground, in the stadium, and um, you know you need to do a bit more to attract the crowds. It's not going to cut for you just by naming the team Central Punjab or. So we're seeing that now with the PSL uh, slated to happen in Pakistan in February, uh, they're obviously upgrading the stadiums. Do you think that those kind of facilities need to be more common for first class matches also? So people want to go and watch a game in Lahore, they want to go and watch a game in Karachi. This idea, I know you and I were talking about it, that just having no price on tickets, having free tickets in itself is not a good enough reason to go to I the game. I think it's a myth. Uh, and. I think they need to move beyond, move, uh, beyond that. Um, by having free entry, it, it won't warranty you, um, uh, you know, a big crowd. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Uh, what what will they go for? There's nothing. Yeah, to, there's nothing. To, what are watch. they going in for? Just for cricket? I mean, okay, but you know, you're, you're making them not even sit on a chair uh, in in Faisalabad and Rawalpindi. There, there are stands without chairs. So what, where's the quality of, um, um, you know, there's no quality yeah. uh, for them to enjoy the match, for, for them to enjoy the cricket. So I think there should be ticket, 50 rupees, 100 rupees, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. The ticket should be there, but you need to make it, uh, you need to make sure that you give them a better, um, environment. better environment to sit and enjoy the match. I mean, I would say it should be like you go to the cinema, you, yeah. know, you enjoy some popcorns, you have a very comfortable sitting arrangement, you watch a movie, you enjoy it and you come back. That's the kind of um, um, environment I think PCB and all um, uh, cricket boards need to target. So to do that, you know, you need some ticket and then of course you need to pay attention to this that you need to provide a very, very good experience to, yeah, yeah. to the crowd. The experience is what's going to be important. Yeah. So we saw Test Cricket come back to Pakistan. We saw Pakistan play uh, Sri Lanka in games um, in Rawalpindi and then of course in Karachi, uh, winning a Test Series at home, playing a Test Series at home after so long. One important thing that came up for a lot of people was the fact that the guys who were performing in domestic cricket, Fawad Alam was part of the squad obviously, was not picked for the team. But guys like uh, Sami Aslam, you know, who started the season with a bang, a double hundred, at about four centuries in the first five games. And then when we look at the guys who ended this tournament as the best performers, so you had Zafar Gohar, mm. who got the player of the series, yeah. still young guy, yeah. 25 years of age. Imran Bhatt from Balochistan, yes, who was a top scorer, 24 years, old. 24 years old, 934 runs. And then the, the real success story for me of this uh, domestic season, the fact that Noman Ali, uh, left arm off spinner, 33 years of age, mm. taking 50 wickets. Uh, the pitches, as we spoke about for many years, last five, six years were only conducive to one kind of bowler. So the fact that these guys stood out now for the future, mm. do their performances merit selection or are we still going to just keep looking at it and saying, no, those are just numbers, more is needed. What more does someone like them need to do to get picked for Team Pakistan? You know, before, um, before the change in the domestic structure, I, um, I also used to think that 
you know, um, the numbers don't really tell you the real story. I mean, if, if a bowler has taken 50 plus wickets, it doesn't mean he's really, really good because, you know, the pitches were so bowler friendly. Yeah. So, you know, it was very easy for them, for media paces to take wickets. Yeah, this is all that we were getting was yeah, media paces media taking paces. wickets. So, but now, now that you have made changes, now you, you, you've you come up with a plan that this, this structure is a good structure. Yeah. Then you don't have any excuse. I mean, if Noman Ali and um, uh, other batsmen, they, they if they perform well, yeah. you do not have an excuse not to pick, pick them. Yeah. You'll have to pick them. You'll have to give them a chance because if you don't do that now, then it means there's something wrong with your um, domestic structure. Yeah, yeah. But no, you you have changed it. You yeah. have made some changes, and I say these are positive changes. Are, yeah. And I feel the players who perform now they are good enough to be part of your national team. So, if we don't see these kids coming to the national side, then I, I feel there's something wrong in the selection. So, so, there's one other concern or question that people have is that we're seeing a lot of players doing well. We saw Omar Akmal hit a double hundred uh, in, the, in the final, uh, play very well throughout. We saw Kamran Akmal, uh, as you mentioned. I, I would rather ask you this. So, Umar has performed well. He, he has hit a ton, a double hundred, in fact, in the final. So, please tell me, should we pick him? If I'm going to be honest with you, uh, for test cricket, maybe you need to give him one chance. I think in limited overs cricket, he's, his last few games should be the last time he plays for Pakistan for a very long time. But are we going to ignore his numbers? Are we going to ignore the fact that he's hit a double hundred in a final? Are we going to ignore the fact that Kamran Akmal, as a batsman, is performing so well? We were talking about the fact that he's coming in, taking Central Punjab's game to a whole new level just by coming in, lower down the order, making those important runs. So. If you're not picking these guys, if they're not going to play for Pakistan, why are they playing domestic cricket? Why is Imran Farhat is in his late 30s? Oh, he is 37, 38. Salman Bhatt is a disgraced former captain, also in his late 30s. These guys are playing. Now, either they're going to keep playing. Does that mean they're going to be playing domestic cricket, not being considered for international cricket? You are robbing four or five Absolutely. young players of the opportunity to go on and make a name for themselves. So, do the teams you feel do they or should they have the autonomy to decide that no, these are the people we want to pick. If the Pakistan Cricket Board wants to pick them for the national team, that's a different story. But these are the best players for Central Punjab, for Sindh, for South Punjab. We are going to pick these guys. Or does the PCB get to dictate that yes, you pick these guys, this is where you play them. That's what they do. We want our system to be like Australia. Yeah. So that's what they do with centrally contracted players. Mm. That yes, you can bowl them a certain amount, play them a certain amount. But what about the guys who don't have central contracts? Mm. If we're not going to consider them, I mean, this is something the system needs more clarity on. Yes, no? yes, yes. And that's that's really what it needs. It needs more clarity. You need to, you know, set a few rules for the players. I mean, if, if you're playing um, Salman Bhatt and Miran Farad, and uh, Kamran Akmal for that matter, I, they, they might perform and Kamran Akmal actually has performed yeah, well. He has, yeah. But, you know, if you're not going to consider them for the national side, then what's the purpose of it? Yeah. You know, so you might as well give a chance to a younger batsman or a bowler yeah. and, you know, uh, a couple of seasons in and, you know, he, he might be someone you consider for the national side. So yeah, that's that's there. That, that's for PCB and the regional associations. But the people who support these players, they will turn around and say that the experience that they bring, the guys who have played international cricket, guys who have, in all of these cases, at least 15, almost 20 years of domestic experience playing cricket, can you just jettison that so quickly? I mean, yes, personally, I wouldn't want Salman Bhatt's experience anywhere near any of the players, given what he's done to Pakistan cricket given what Imran Farhat and given what Kamran Akmal have all done. But you cannot walk away from their numbers. You cannot walk away from the fact that these guys are playing 15, 16 years of domestic cricket, have all played international cricket. Do they have something to give young players? Or do we need to make a clean break and say, guys, figure something out for yourself and we're going in a different direction? I, said, I don't think we can actually make a decision on that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a very, I mean, both arguments um, I, I feel are, are good, yeah. good enough. So it's it's it really is what uh, PCB wants, you know, or the regional associations. They, they they want to bring to the table. Yeah. What do they want? I mean, you know, do they want to serve the national side, or they have their own uh, economical structure where you know they, they are self-sufficient and they they can actually have autonomy. Then probably you know they'll they'll play these players. Yeah. But if if the purpose is to serve the national team, then maybe not. You know, these players shouldn't be played. Again, the argument is good that they have a certain experience. I agree with you that you know these specific players' uh, experience should not be 
something that young players be affected by. But you know, um, that aside, that's that's good argument. So it's it, it really is a uh, question for PCB to answer. That what do they want? So overall, you feel there's been positive changes. And Hassan, uh, again, we were talking about Umar Akmal. So. What I've seen is that you know international teams. What they're doing is they're playing aggressive players at their number five and six. Yes. I mean Stokes, Granholm, uh, De Kock. Yeah. These players are yeah. playing um, down the order. So it seems you know that if this they think that if you have played 30, 40, 50 overs and a player comes in, he should be able to accelerate. Yeah. Right. That's what modern Test cricket is all yeah. about. Yes. So we need to have probably we need to have uh, the same structure in our team. We need to look at our batting lineup and see who's playing at number five and six. I mean, Rizwan is there. He's kind of aggressive. I mean, he looks aggressive. Yeah, he but doesn't, yeah. doesn't play that aggressive. And we have Asad Shafiq who is more used to yeah. taking his time playing in the more classical route. Yes, I think if we want to modernize so the Umar game. So Umar Akmal, uh, if we are to include him in our test side, you know, that's where he fits in. And he's making a case. He's, he's making, making a case, case with the numbers. So, yeah. That, that, so, yes. overall, do you feel that this domestic uh, season, the very first one in this format, do you think there's more positives than negatives for Pakistan? And hopefully, going forward, we can do well with this setup? I am really, really positive about this uh, structure. I think it's a good structure. Um, there can be, you know, a few more changes to it. I feel that players should have their number and names on the back as well, like we have in the, na in the national. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I feel, you know, more projection to the players. Right. I saw them uh, after every performance come out and talk to press. I really like that. Yeah. yeah you know, that would help them um, prepare for the uh, for possibly playing exposure. international cricket. Yeah. 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 So that that was really nice. I I really like the whole system. I just want them to follow up follow up on that. I mean. It's not like they have a system now, but we are not going to pick players uh, based on the system or the players who perform well in the system. So and there needs just, to be more clarity. Yeah, there needs to be more clarity. And uh, there can't be any excuses or uh, there can't be any compromises on that. If Fawad Alam performs in this system, yeah, he, he must be in the team. And that, guys, is our conversation on the drop today about the Qadi Azam Trophy, Pakistan's domestic cricket competition. We look forward to speaking to you again and on behalf of all of us here at The Drop, a very happy new year to you and let's hope it's a very happy new year for Pakistan cricket also. We're really excited to share fantastic content with you on all the fun topics. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button below.